Right now I'm in a state of mind I wanna eat cake like all the time Ain't got no cake left to try So I'm eating it up, I'm caking it up I'm loving, I'm eating, I'm baking it up What? We're kicking it up Ariana Grande's birthday is just around the corner and what better way to celebrate than with a cake inspired by her newly released single, No Tears Left to Cry. I'm going to show you how to create a prism effect out of buttercream, how to make her famous bunny ears out of royal icing lace, and sculpt out her ponytail out of fondant. So right now I'm freehand piping some bunny ears. You can draw them out beforehand if you'd like on a piece of parchment paper and flip it on over and pipe right on top of where you drew. Or you can freehand pipe it just like this. The size of your bunny ears all depends on how big you actually want it. And I want them pretty large right on top of our cake. And to make these bunny ears really look like lace, you want to make lines and attach them to each other around all the leaves and flowers that you made. And that's what really makes it look like lace. Each tier of cake is going to have a cocoa puff chocolate crisp bottom. And to do that, we're going to start off with some foil and a cake board to the sides of each cake. We're gonna bring the foil over the sides of each cake board and start pinching away to create a vessel or a mold. Once you're done making your bowl or vessel, you want to pour in some melted chocolate. Now just grab an offset spatula and you want to spread it kind of thin and nice and even. Set it in the fridge to harden up. Now it's time to start layering and adding all of those fun flavors that go inside. First we're going to start off with a cake board and then we're going to spread just a little bit of chocolate or you could add buttercream just so that your cake stays in place. And then you wanna add our cocoa crisp that we made earlier. On top of that, spread a thin layer of Swiss buttercream. On top of the Swiss buttercream, add our strawberry cake. Now you want to create a barrier with a piping bag filled with Swiss buttercream. And then fill it with strawberry jam. And then you wanna add another layer of strawberry cake. And then you make another barrier of Swiss buttercream. And then inside of that, you want to spread a thin layer of chocolate ganache. Sprinkle it with more cocoa puffs. And then a thin layer of Swiss buttercream. And then top it off with one more layer of strawberry cake. The bottom two tiers should be doweled with milkshake straws. And we do this just so that creates stability and the cake gets a bit heavy after you ice it and you stack things on top of it. After doweling the cakes, you want to crumb coat it in Swiss buttercream. And after crumb coating it, you want to set it into the fridge to chill. Right now I'm coloring some buttercream with gel paste in a purplish mauve gray. Now that our crumb coat is chilled, we want to cover it in the mauve gray buttercream that we just made. Right now I'm crumb coating our four inch top tier in Swiss buttercream. Now I'm covering our crumb coated four inch cake with ombre blues. We're using a grayish blue and then a sky blue. Now we're going to have fun with an airbrush and create a prism effect on buttercream. Right here we have a piece of cardstock. You could also use cardboard or any type of hard paper that'll block out all of the airbrush sprays from going all over the cake. You kind of want to avoid it blending too much. So the colors that you want to use is definitely the entire rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and everything in between. With a number one tip in black buttercream, I'm going to pipe some umbrellas upside down. With a number one tip in white buttercream, you want to create teardrop shapes or raindrops upside down. Now I'm adding our dried royal icing letters onto the cake. Right now I am diligently placing it onto the cake with a pair of tweezers because royal icing is very fragile and if I do it with my bare fingers, I'll totally crush them. Unless you have super steady, non-heavy hands, then I would totally use a pair of tweezers. 
Now I'm grabbing some fondant and I'm making little ropes or snakies and attaching it to the cake to make it look like her ponytail. And I'm also using skewers or toothpicks to make sure it really stays onto the cake and it doesn't slide off. I'm also using sculpting tools to make it look more realistic and adding some texture and you could also cut it up a little bit to make it look like there's wispies on the ponytail and the more realistic you make it the better it looks. And for the final flourish we're topping it off by adding our royal icing lace bunny ears. And there we have it our Ariana Grande birthday cake complete with a ponytail and bunny ears made out of sugar. Oh baby I love some cake I love some cake I love the way it makes me feel. I love it. I love it. Thanks for watching. If there's a birthday cake you want to see, comment down below and let us know.